The problem you can also face with whenever you encoding and decoding audio with, with a codec is what we call latency. It's the time that it takes to process, to encode it, to transmit it over Bluetooth, and then to decode it. What Aptex does is it has a really, really short encoding delay, 1.9 milliseconds to just encode it and decode it. So where other codecs could take hundreds of milliseconds to transmit the data, Aptex is able to achieve 40 milliseconds latency by just really spending really little time encoding it and being able to transmit the data in a really smart way and much smarter way than other codecs, for example. If you're watching a movie, uh, you want to retain the synchronization between the music and the audio itself. In this first example, uh, it's just a movie. Um, and really what we want to explain is how you could lose synchronization of the, the talking of the actors when using uh, other codecs and aptex latency. Unlike you, I do not have exalted ancestors. I make my living by trade, and I judge every trade on its merits. Do you have an army? Not yet. You do not have an army. Do you have powerful allies in Westeros? There are many there that support my claim. And in this uh, last example, uh, you can see a drummer playing the drums. Uh, if you look at the snare drum, especially in the middle, you'll see how you could lose the synchronization between the audio and again the video.